Hey, what's good, y'all? It's your boy, Mark the Protégé. <laughs> we are live here with another episode of the Overthinkers Podcast, hashtag the OT. The OT. Yeah, where well, we got to ask ourselves, do we think too much about it or not enough about it? I'm here with my boy. DJ Mo CD in the building, in the cut. 100. Rolling doobies out. Huh, 100. <laughs> Shout out to our boy Carlos, man, for being here all the time and making sure we sound right. Bow, Carlos, bow. we appreciate everything you do, man. Um, Mo, how you feeling, man? Oh, man. Uh, I was good. I was good. I mean, you know, had some, you know, something I could have been worried about, but it's all good. Yeah. We're all good. Uh, so that's a good thing. So, yeah. but but I'm good. I'm good. We good. That's cool, man. How about yourself? Uh, I'm, I'm not in the best place. I'm gonna be honest, man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it 100, bro. I mean, without getting too personal, I, I, I'm not, I I don't feel good at all, bro. I, 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 I'm an optimist, so I'm, I'm pretty positive about shit, but I'm gonna be honest, man. Like, not necessarily in the best space, but, um, you know, like I said, I'm an optimist and I'm able to pull up and, and, take time away and uh, from 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 personal shit and get to hang out with you guys and fucking do shit that i like to do yeah. and podcasting is one of them well now it's one of them i'm, I'm yeah, learning to enjoy this and this is one of the joys in life which is why i was super appreciative to carlos when we even started this shit man you know what i'm saying like Whoop. super cool man so uh so yeah man so like i said i'm an optimist though so i'm always good, open good, for bro. for anything and i'm open for all good vibes i'm not that debbie downer you know what i'm saying it's all good, bro. We, but know. I'm also not a liar whenever people ask me now, how do you feel? How are you feeling? Like, usually the typical answer is like, oh, I'm good, I'm good, da, 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 da. Now, if it's just a stranger asking me that, yeah, then I'm probably going to hit them with the, with the, you know, with the and casual. And then your business, no. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to hit them with the casual, like, I'm, I'm, I'm good, I'm good. You know what I'm saying? But if it's someone like you asking me, yeah. you know what I'm saying, then I'm going to keep it 100 and... Yeah, man. Well, honey, we just happen to be live shout talking to, to people. Shout out to the 15 live viewers yeah. currently. <laughs> you feel me? Sure and the ahead. 15 other people that heard make it. Make sure you, li- <laughs> you like it, you share it, all that yeah. good stuff. Like, share. Like, oh, yeah, man. Share, share this, man. Uh, we're going to have a pretty cool podcast. Um, You know what I'm saying? Um, me and Mo came in, you know what I'm saying, in uh, in, in, in quite, quite the different vibe. But uh, we did have a long day, you know what I'm saying? Long few days for me. But uh, we here, man. So uh, let's go ahead and kick it off, man. Uh, this this uh, past week, I think was it Saturday? Saturday, um, we got uh, yeah, Saturday. Saturday, the news hit. I was posted up at, at the at, uh, my cousin's crib. Uh, damn, Keegan gets a lot of shout outs on the podcast, man. Yeah, 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 does. man. So I was posted up at my cousin's crib, man, and uh, we literally were just uh, hanging out, um, and he was playing. Uh, Call of Duty, I think, man, and through the through his headsets, he was online. I think he was a, uh, I think he was uh, playing his uh, my other cousin, his brother, and like uh, my cousin Caleb, and his co- and my cousin Caleb dropped the news on him that uh, Black Panther died. You know what I'm saying? That right. Chadwick died. You know what I'm saying? And um, immediately Keegan was like, Nah, no way. And um, and then I get a text. You know what I'm saying? I get a text saying Chadwick Boseman died. Right. And um, that's when Keegan stopped playing the game. And he was like, damn, it was serious. And Keegan's a big fan of Marvel, Marvel. and MCU. Yeah, yes, Immediately, yeah. like, he just stopped. And he, like, damn near. I, I, I'm i not trying to put his business out there, but that shit hit him. That shit yeah. hit him. And, like, we, we, we stopped for a second, man. And and, and it was, I was in disbelief. But then immediately it hit me. Uh, recent footage he posted on Instagram. I think he was on. Uh, he posted like a video of. of I, I don't know what he was doing, man. But um, uh, health wise, like he looked like he had lost a lot of weight. Right. And my immediate reaction was uh, that must be for a movie role. He's yeah. he's one of those gr- which they do a lot. He's one of those actors, actors that that, yeah. that will go in like that, right? Right. You know what I'm saying? And comes to find out that it wasn't for a movie role and he mm-hmm. passed away from uh what was it, colon cancer colon cancer yeah. colon cancer man and um and yeah man uh just wanted to say a few things in regards to Chadwick Boseman um when i first seen him and in, in, in action i had uh i didn't even know his name at first i just knew him as the guy that played james brown because my right. pops took me to go see get up i mean uh get on up yeah and he did an amazing job on there. It's so weird yeah. how he captured James Brown, you know what I'm saying, from 
from not not just uh uh, uh the like physically you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. but like mm-hmm. like every everything he captured it you know what i'm saying it was super cool to see especially someone that didn't grow up in that time but only see like youtube videos and all these other things on james brown and he did such a great job and that was my first introduction to uh to chadwick boseman and then you know from there i did i did my work and then um I ended up like catching forty two, but I caught forty two late. The the movie on Jackie Robinson, right, right. And there was a few scenes on there where it was like a tearjerker, you know what I'm saying? But that's how great of an actor he was, mm-hmm. you know, um, and whatnot. And then you know, of course, we get to the infamous uh, uh, Black Panther, which to me, uh, I remember, I, I remember just like it was yesterday when I went to go see the movie. And on top of that, I remember the uh, the feeling of just seeing the trailer. And just building that anticipation within myself because I knew that this was going to impact many lives. You know what I'm saying? Many lives. And and yeah, man, uh, he definitely did. He, he did what he had to do with his limited time that he was here. I had uh, read an Obama tweet and Obama had mentioned that the it basically it just circled around the fact that he was like, in pain within this time period because right. where, where it is he got colon cancer what in 2016 2016 movies in production were black panther uh the five bloods uh and i believe one other one was it 21 bridges i could be wrong 20, yeah. Yeah, yeah 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 so like and where it is there's another movie coming out that's gonna hit netflix that stars him i think it was his last movie so four movies he managed to work on and and, and put out in this time and a marvel series like a cartoon Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, oh, that's that's happening. They're they're doing a cartoon called What If, and it's like a bunch of just What If scenarios. And I, yeah. I'm pretty sure one of them is What If Black Panther was also Star Lord. Oh, for real? Yeah, and they uh, get all the original actors to do the voices for the cartoon. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah, man. yeah. and he got a chance to do yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's beautiful, man. Five movies, or maybe that is the Netflix. I don't know. I don't know, but that's beautiful. No, uh, the Netflix thing is a, is a separate movie for separate? Marvel. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. The other oh, one's okay. gonna be on Disney Plus. Wow. Yeah, man, and. And like Obama said, like, you know, from from him being in pain in that time and and for him to be, you know, possibly. Well, now we know was limited, you know yeah. what I'm saying? But for him to deliver and, and give us give us a movie like a, I'm I'm, on, I'm speaking on Black Panther mainly because of the impact Black Panther had on the world. Not that I'm trying to say that his whole career or revolves around that, but it the impact of that movie that it had on the world. You know what I'm saying? It was beautiful. And I I recently came across, I think even before, and my bad if my thoughts are everywhere Mm -hmm. on this, but I just like, you know, when this shit hit, like I went down a wormhole of shit of of, of Chadwick. And like, I remember seeing this footage and I revisited it before I got here. And, um, and it's crazy because like, there's like little hints that he may have been like sick and like even his interview not his interview he had did like this press release and he had mentioned that he had came across two kids who were terminally ill yeah. with cancer and they wanted to stay alive to watch the movie and unfortunately they didn't get a chance to y'all could look it up uh just if if you're uh listening right now um we'll wait till after the podcast you know what i'm saying and share this <laughs> by the way if y'all listening man um yeah um fucking uh i think it's called a uh, uh Chadwick Boseman speaks on the cultural impact of Black Panther. Yeah. And you'll and you'll find like a two minute story where he's on a panel talking about it and and whatnot. And just like those two kids, man, I mean, it impacted the world just to see his character come to life and um and from from all walks of life. And you know what I'm saying? To me, I know people were saying that Black Panther some people, you know, were saying it's just a movie. It's just a movie. It's just nah man like it is i get it it's part of the marvel universe i get it but it's it's bigger than that man and it most definitely was and to me um if you got away from that mind state of just saying it's just a movie you would see the unity that it brought you know what i'm saying and that's the beauty of black panther being the hero being the uh being in the marvel universe all that other shit is just it, it, to me, it it was it was a sign of unity, and 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 for all like especially my black friends, yeah, you know what I'm saying, my black family members to see that portrayed, you know, I was happy that y'all got to have that moment, dog. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, good. and it sucks that he's gone because 
th- there's supposed to be a sequel, all this shit, man. Yeah, yeah. I My mean, bad, Mo. Go ahead. No, no, talk, you bro. good. You yeah. good. No, I mean, hopefully they can figure something out. I mean, obviously the internet is taking this by storm, and yeah. they are uh, already trying to think of uh, what can, you know, take yeah. place. Yeah. What, like, what happens from here? Yeah, like... like There's a they, lot of places you can't take it. Like, at first, I was like, no one can... You can't, you can't redo this. Me and Keegan were talking, and we well, were just like... Well, I mean, like, yeah, you definitely can't get anyone to like, play like, Black Panther. Like, just exactly. try to piggyback that on. Like, I seen a couple of posts saying that his sister should take over. Yeah. And, that was a cool you know, graphic, by the way. A dope-ass You saw graphic. that? I seen it. Yeah. And um, somebody talking about bring Killmonger back. <laughs> and uh, that's a good guy. Uh, shit. Um, it, it can I happen. Mean, I mean, they brought, they brought Black Panther back. Yeah, I mean... You know, right, what I'm right. they brought back half the half the Marvel universe yeah, when Thanos yeah. snapped them all out. You know, so I mean, which which would be cool. Which, by the way, kind of off topic, I think that was probably <laughs> he like the only villain in a movie that it made sense to be a villain. Yeah, were you <laughs> like I seen talking that. about Killmonger? Yeah, oh, okay, Killmonger. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> like I would have been on some. Mad evil shit too. Yeah, like, you that's know, why you. But, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't want him to go, man. Yeah, I uh, mean, and then, but it was. It was. It was a. Uh, it was you know a beautiful you know biopic. I mean, not a biopic, but a, a beautiful a, a, movie. I think movie. that he was in the original plans to come back. Like I think I saw last year, him and uh, Donald Glover were were both cast as like uh, villains for next for the next one. Oh really? For real? Oh, okay. yeah, oh man, that would have been great. That would have uh, been really good. I mean, but yeah. I Unfortunately, mean, Chance got uh, plans got to change, but. I mean, they, they, I mean, it's Hollywood. They, they yeah. figure, they'll figure something out. But, you know, that's on that. But as far as uh, Chadwick as a person, that just shows who he was as a person to be able to to do all that he did um, going through his health issues. Wow, man. That's, if if you have, anybody watching this, if you have an excuse for anything, you yeah. need to cut it out. If you breathing, <laughs> you ain't you ain't tied up to no machine. They were saying this man was doing surgeries, chemo, and then going to on set. Yeah, um, fucking like. uh, one of his uh, one of his uh, co-stars. And when y'all get a chance, man, if y'all haven't seen the movie The Five Bloods, it's uh, directed by Spike Lee, and uh, and Chadwick has a super great fucking um, um, uh, role in that movie. Um, when y'all get a chance, check it out. One of his co-stars actually um, mentioned that on set uh, he was. Uh, he was getting massages, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and and yeah. all these other things like, you know, just like physical therapy. But get this, no one knew. So the, his co-star, and I'm I'm sorry I don't know his name, uh, yeah, yeah. but the co-star, um, he, he said, he, he, he had said, man, his co- the co-star had told the wife, his wife, co-star's wife, yeah. He had, he had went back home and said, man, I... I, I know Chadwick's a big superstar and all that, but I think this Black Panther movie's getting to his head. Like he he he's a he's a he's he's really living good now, and he's showing it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like that that like you know he's that superstar level. Like he's getting massages and all that. And and um, within while he was saying that, he started crying because he said, "I said that so foolishly, not knowing that he right, was getting right. this help on set due to his condition." Yeah. And um, yeah, man, uh, sad situation. Um, Black Panther touched so many lives, and like I said, um, it meant you know seeing seeing a seeing a black superhero get portrayed like that and put in that in that light, and it, it, at the time until Avengers Part Two came out, uh, or not uh, Endgame, Endgame until Avengers Endgame came out, it was the number one Marvel movie of all time. Um, you know what I'm saying, and. Um, of, it's still one of the top grossing movies of all time. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. It's four or five, like beautiful man. And that just and to me, that's why that's why like you know when people were saying like it's just a movie or or better yet, why are people hyping this up? Because, I mean, that is and, just a movie. But you got to understand, but like yes, it is a movie. Him but, as a person, bro. Like yeah. if you take out the acting, like you know this man visit colleges and inspirational and motivational yeah. speaker and. Um, how he lived his life, yeah, and how he even got his start, you know, it's just, uh, you know, I don't know how true that is. Even though all this just start start popping up, like Denzel paying for his his uh, oh uh, yeah, like I knew nothing about that. You I seen mean, when they met back up, he um he fucking asked for that money back. <laughs> now that he made it, yeah. So, so there's there's a story real quick. I'm, I'm gonna run through it real quick. There's a story that um that Chadwick he went to uh what was what was the college um fuck man. Howard. Howard, yeah, yeah, he went yeah, to he Howard. Spoke at Howard and, yeah. yeah, he went to Howard, and uh, he had he had got um, 
he he was he was going to he was on some trip to to further his uh his education on yeah. film or whatever right. and um and someone had reached i think it was felicia uh richard, richard yeah mm-hmm. and like she reached claire. out claire <laughs> yeah shout out claire yeah claire huxtable and like she she had reached out to denzel mm-hmm. to see if if he would be part of helping out the students and chadwick ended, ended up being one of the stu- right, students right. that got funded by denzel mm-hmm. and whatnot and uh and yeah man chadwick runs into denzel and they kind of have that story back back and forth and denzel says all right man now that you made it where my money at i came to collect you know what i'm saying yeah. beautiful man it's 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 kind of you never know who you're helping or you never know what you're doing man and more importantly you never know what anybody's going through i mean because yeah. i've seen yeah you yeah know, yeah I, i've seen some of those uh well obviously we all seen his photos on it on the ground or you know twitter or wherever it was before we even knew any of this yeah uh where i where i first seen where he kind of looked you know not well he was actually uh featured in um I, it's on netflix kevin hart had like a little short film on his like life or whatever I was it that the documentary name of it. yeah it was like a yeah, documentary yeah, yeah, yeah. and he was meeting up with he met up with him like to to, to possibly yeah, do a movie. Yeah, they had a meeting or something. They shit. had a yeah, meeting. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was, I was watching it. I'm looking. To, I'm like, man, he look, he don't look too good. But you know, I'm yeah. thinking. I mean, it's Hollywood. I mean, who knows? Yeah, you know. So I, I'm like, and so, and then boom. <laughs> like, yeah. who knows? This man been battling the whole. But that just shows you how good he was. We, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like how great he was to the fact that we were. We were on the thought of him doing this for a role. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because we've yeah. seen shit. We even seen we even seen someone like Fifty Cent, who's not. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like like super was, actor actor. You know what I'm saying? Movie? But like you know, straight to yeah. What was that? Exclusive. What yeah. was that movie? <laughs> uh, I think I, I don't know what it was called. Bro, man. they used that movie man. as a meme. <laughs> yeah, man. They did Fifty Dirty, man. But like. But yeah, man. I the name of so, movie. so I thought that you know yeah. he, he was going in on a film, right, and right. yeah. So, and then we get the news, of course, man. Um, what did? A uh, uh, curious question, you know what? What did Black Panther mean to you? You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, for one, it. I mean, I don't want to sit here and act like it's one of the first movies to like show or shine light on importance of culture of a or you know my black culture but because it isn't it is <laughs> yeah. yeah, it isn't but however i mean it was it was it seems like i guess it was big as it was because it was a type of movie that was able to connect and everybody you know what i'm saying i think it was bigger for the kids it, if anything it was it was yeah. bigger for the kids because the show, you yeah know, you know like we've lived a long life right, you know, we, right we've seen right, right. we've seen these things but like Black representation, superheroes, and stuff like that. Or shit, even in like most basic cartoons, there right. was not a lot of it. You know, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So yeah, it was it was real huge. So I think, I mean, for me, I was it was a proud moment because it was a uh, it was something like I say that wasn't just targeted at one race or one audience. Yeah, and and it brought. You don't get the All fourth that, highest you know domestic <laughs> movie just from having black people come to the theater. That's a movie yeah, that yeah. everyone wanted to see, everyone exactly. enjoyed, right. and it is fourth. It, it goes Star and Wars, End yeah. Game. Avatar, exactly. Black Panther, yeah. domestically, and that's why to me, like in these times, like that was a pivotal role in a pivotal movie. Yes, it was make believe. Yes, it was whatever. Yes, it comes from the from a, from the mind of Stan Lee who created this world and everything. Yes, I get it. It's not real life, and and whatnot. But it has some it's real like moments y'all said, in there. Like like y'all said, like that's the way I looked at. I looked at it like th- the success of it shows you so much unity. That could be within one movie. So it, to me, it's like you said, man, like it ain't the first movie that focuses on black culture or anything like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, like, to, you know, it, yeah, man, to me, it's just more than a movie, man, but it's beautiful. I also watched a video of Chadwick talking about like the roles he chose to pick and stuff like that and how he wasn't gonna, like, he was told, like, if he declines, like, these beginner roles, like playing game bangers and shit, like, you're going to be considered hard to work with. And he was right. like, I'd rather be considered hard to work with than sell out and do something I I don't have my heart Yo, I couldn't into. picture him playing a gangbanger role. That shit was... That. And, the, and, that, and that 50 Cent movie was uh, All Things Fall Apart. All yeah, yeah. So I'm looking at the, I'm looking at the poster right now and he is looking mad Clayton <laughs> Bigsby-ish. Yo, <it> was- <laughs> And that I don't even man that movie didn't get the success that I don't I, I've I've <laughs> seen it but I don't put into any it. scene bro. the work that Fifty put into it the success didn't come back <laughs> on it man um yeah, I'm I'm very man. interested in where they go from here it cost uh, seven million to make for real yeah wow, wow. I'm trying to find out how much it made 
there has to be someone else that was in that movie. And we're talking about the 50 Cent movie, All Things Apart, but All Things Fall Apart, by the way. We're not talking about Chadwick. So <laughs> Ray Liotta. you hear us talking about some, it's, we're laughing about that Ray movie. Liotta was the other like big name in that movie. Yeah. Ah, shit, man. That's crazy, that tank. But, um, but yeah, man, um, what'd you call it? Um, I'm interested in where they go from here. Yeah. Um, not just in the Marvel Universe, I'm interested in, in uh, what Chadwick's uh, last work was that he's gonna that's supposed to be out on Netflix and the and the Marvel cartoon right, right. things of that nature. You know, I'm gonna be honest, man. I'm gonna keep it 100. I wasn't that big of a Marvel fan till he came around, till till that movie came around. I Same. wasn't. I wasn't. I'm keeping 1,000. Same. Judge me, say whatever the fuck you want. I remember Keegan was giving me the hardest time, saying like, "Oh man, like now you want to come on this nah, side is like, no, nah, you. Tripping. I get it though. He, you, you know, tripping, that's bro. well deserved. But you know what I'm saying. But but it did that for a lot of people. And guess what, man? Like you know, everybody got put on, man. It, it impacted in so many ways, dog. Uh, rest in peace, Chadwick rest in Boseman, peace. man. Dende R. says hi. What's up, dude? Dende, uh, appreciate your presence, man. You're super dope in the Houston scene. We appreciate you, dog. And uh, and uh, oh yeah, he posted a funny meme the other day uh, about the dude that got delivered. I am delivered. <laughs> and I was like, Are you sending a hidden, hidden message, dog? Like, oh, are you man. changing your ways that fast? Because <laughs> you know how that dude was like, yeah. I am delivered. I don't like men's no more. <laughs> so I was like, I was like, Dinda, are you giving us a hidden message, man? Talk to us. It's like he's just changed so fast. Yeah, man. Shout out to Dinda, man. When y'all get a chance, uh, Dinda, he's an artist. He makes, uh, you know, what I'm saying he makes music. But on top of that, he does uh, also have a podcast. You know, what I'm saying called No Cap. Uh, all cap. All cap. All cap. All oh, cap. Fuck. My bad. No, no. They do all My the bad. capping. They do all of the capping. All cap on tap. Southside, you know what I'm saying? Is the army better yet the navy? Come fuck with us. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, man. Uh, rest in peace, Chadwick Boseman. We appreciate everything that you did, your contribution Love. to the world. To the world. Um, it the means culture. a lot. Um, yeah, man. To the culture and everything. Um, yeah, man. Your time here, very appreciated, and you made it worth it. Let's get a hand clap one time. Wakanda forever. One hundred, man. <laughs> Condolences to your family. Oh yeah, most definitely. All love, man. Yeah. Beautiful person. Um, yeah, man. So we're here. Um, like uh, me and Mo said, you know, Mo said he, he had quite the weird day, but he's in good spirits. You know what I'm saying? I'm an optimist. I had a weird last few days. Not not necessarily the best, man. But, you know, I've just been in, in, in a weird space. And it just made me want to ask you, you know what I'm saying? And Carlos, you feel free to chime in, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, you know, it, it's just kind of hard because like, he's you, like know, hey, you know, like what I do. You know, he he he's he's part of the OT too, man. He's posted all in the good, cut, all man. Good, all good. He's here, so you know, Carlos, feel free, man. Um, but I just wanted to ask, man. Um, first, do you have? I know we're gonna get like super like personal real fast, but like, you know, mm. I got demons, right? I got demons I, that I deal with. You know what I'm saying on a day to day basis. You know what I'm saying like inner shit that 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 be fucking with me sometimes that yeah. I'm trying to beat or I'm trying to overcome. And sometimes they get the best of me. Uh, you on the other hand, I know you. You're my friend. To me, I know this answer already, but I'm still gonna ask you just for our listeners. Do you find yourself dealing with demons sometimes? I mean, it's demons and everything. So yeah. like, uh, you waking up, you're gonna be faced with something. You know, ain't no day perfect, ain't nobody's perfect. Yeah. And depending on what it is. Yeah. Shit. Like no no matter what it is, it could be something as small as just I don't know, like you lying. Yeah. <laughs> like lying all the time. Or <laughs> or you, you know, you know, so it could be something as, as simple as that. So I mean, of course. It's a it's a this walk of life we walking in in uh, uh are, are in is it's an everyday challenge how do you find yourself dealing with it and as as i'm i'm asking for my <laughs> personal reasons this is more like a therapy session I mean, nah, at the same it's time all good, bro. it's all good i mean cuz you know we're going to have podcasts like this sometimes sometimes yeah. it ain't going to be the 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 laughing and or the yeah. you know uh, entertainment things and guys, but, y'all feel free to leave comments, yeah, man. Leave while comments. we're talking, you know, show some. Uh, I want to say show some love, but like <laughs> chime in. You know what I'm saying? This is open, free space. You know what I'm saying? This is safe space. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. yeah. So, uh, but I mean, yes. the how first, do you, how do you find yourself dealing with certain things that you may deal thing, with? The first thing, whatever you dealing with, you got to figure out 
why you dealing with it, where right. it came from. You know what I'm saying? And exit yourself away from it. You know, uh, uh, my 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 great great uncle. Well, yeah, my great uncle or some shout out BB Willis. May he rest in heaven. He used to right, always say. <laughs> he used to always say, if if you hang around a dog with fleas, you're gonna eventually get fleas. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. So. I mean, and it's just that simple, bro. Yeah. When uh uh, if you if you, an alcoholic or or heavy on uh, <laughs> uh on a, I'm just saying like nah, if you're heavy yeah. on a on a on if you're an addict on anything, it don't even have to be just drugs or alcohol, food addiction, sex addiction, any of those things, and you're trying to learn or see what you can do to get better and not deal with that as much, you gotta isolate yourself from whatever causes that, what triggers that. So I mean. It's just that simple. I mean, to figure it out. Now, to get through it, it's going to take support. It's going to take, uh, uh, first, a made-up mind from you. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That you want to uh, be able to uh, get away from it. I mean, and then I know it's harder for others, you know, then, you know, it, it's different. Yeah. <clears throat> so that's when you figure out what can you do uh, or or what can be done to help you get through it. And so... Uh, for me, man, uh, it's always been music, but that's what music is. Yeah. That's how music came about. It's people's pain. <laughs> it's weird. People, we were just yeah. talking, like, I mean, you were here yeah. at that. By the yeah. time uh, we were talking about, like, I was talking about how, like, uh, like we were just listening to Pharrell's Happy, yeah, just to like lighten the mood. You know what I'm saying? Because, uh, you know, we're not going to talk about talk about it. But when you came in here, you know what I'm saying? You were alerted by something yeah. and whatnot, and 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 we knew that you know we weren't in the the spirits. Optimist, but you know, it's, yeah, yeah, it's, and whatever, and like, and he played Pharrell's Happy, and I immediately said, I was like, that's so funny that you're playing Happy by Pharrell because that's actually a song that, corny or not, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Because I, mean, I know it's shit. a mega hit and it probably annoys people, but that song makes me feel better. It makes yeah, me feel most good. Definitely, most definitely. And then, and then I went on to mention like, uh, like yesterday I posted on, uh, I posted on my snap. You know what I'm saying? And I said. And, and I posted a video of uh, a fucking uh, a tribe called Quest yeah. and their song "Can I Kick It," mm -hmm. and something about that song is so meditative to me. And what they're saying on there isn't necessarily like life learning skills or anything. Right. They're just like literally just vibing and just spitting rhymes or whatever. And uh, but just the sound of it and the sound waves just like make me feel really good. So it like I get what you're saying with music because to me it's like it could be the message like so yeah, it it, could, happy it, it, or it, it could be just the sounds and the message, the sound, meditative. And, and yeah, and just find something you like and yeah. that can ease your mind and get your mind off of your demon or your problem. Yeah, and hopefully it's a positive, you know, um, that's bringing positivity to you, yeah. you know, personally. Or you know, uh, and then it'll be it'll go, you know, that much smoother. But that's how I deal with it, man. And then, and then I and I, I honestly look at it. How is this problem or this demon or this situation? How has it affected me and the people around me? Yeah, you know. And once you answer all those questions, bro, like it's it's just that simple. It, and and it's, for for me, but like I say, it's a it's you know. It's, it's just that's like the easiest equation for for everything just about you got to yeah. figure out you know what it is or you know what it is figure out how you're going to get through it and then find a practice find a practice and, and again hopefully it's a positive practice you know something yeah. that's going to bring you know some life to you people around you okay and that's why i think a lot of people uh you know when they go through things and they oh this is how this is how i deal with it mm -hmm. but you got people who love you, and how is that affecting them? Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, uh, and and it's just like like real quick. It's just like how you know when my brother, when he 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 you know had the choices of life he did. He seen how it affected my mom. Yeah, you know I mean that's the first woman we loved, and boom that fast it it was over with. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because you see how it affects everything that you say you love. Right. How much do you love that? You know what I'm saying? So uh it is it's just like that, man. One plus one is two. <laughs> yeah. It's it's For funny, real. it's funny how you how you mention music because uh and you actually it ties into religion as well, but um uh Kevin actually sent me 
uh, he, I had a conversation, you know, uh, you know what we talked about off air. Right. You know what I'm saying? I, I talked to Kevin, too. And right. Kevin had to, had gave me a nice paragraph of, like, good shit. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Just words or whatever. Um, And then, uh, man, I would read it, but we're, we're yeah, nah. us- we use my phone to, like, to yeah, like yeah, nah, you know, nah. use the camera, but it's yeah, fine. Yeah, yeah. But, um, but uh, and after that, he immediately sent me a screenshot of uh, of him searching up um, of uh, uh, Kirk Franklin. I was gonna say Kevin Franklin. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin Franklin. Must be his brother. <laughs> Yo, good old Kevin. Yo, old uh, Kevin. Yeah, yeah, Kevin yeah. Franklin. Where's music ne- never really yeah. lived up to the potential. Yo. Runs a great bowling alley. Kevin Franklin. Yeah, yeah. That's Kevin actually Franklin. a cool name, Kevin Franklin. Kevin but anyways, uh, sounds Kirk. Like a former. That's, yeah. Yeah. That's my producer name. <laughs> oh God. So Kirk Franklin, Kevin. he sent me, he sent me a screenshot of Kirk, and and you know what I'm saying. And if y'all listen to our last podcast, then y'all will understand how Kevin rocks. You know what I'm saying. Yeah. Y'all will know that he's not uh, he's not Christian, but he recommended Pod- podcast me podcast before last. Yeah, podcast before last. My yeah, bad. Yeah, yeah, Two yeah. podcasts ago from this podcast yeah, yeah. that y'all y'all are watching or listening to. Um, so yeah, so he's not Christian or whatnot, but he, he sent me Kirk and Kirk, as y'all know, uh, is a, is a gospel singer, Christianity, you know what I'm saying? And, and I always, I always go to Kirk as well. So it was funny that he sent me that. Cause it's like, he read my mind. I always go to Kirk, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Uh, Kirk has got me through some shit, which makes me want to ask you real quick. Um, is, is, do you, the, uh, this is a stupid question, but I, I'm still going to ask it. Does religion play a huge part? Does your faith play a huge part in you in, in any battles you may come across? And I'm not trying to bring out like this big old depression from Caleb. B- I mean, Mo, my bad. We're having <laughs> we're so personal right now. I'm calling you like by your, by your government, but like, um, yeah, man. So, um, you know, in the midst of you dealing with battles and and whatnot, because you're 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 very good. At, at, at presenting yourself as the most joyful person or whatever, but we all go through it regardless, right? right? You know what I'm saying? Uh, you're a little bit better than me as far as showing yourself and, uh, uh, you know what I'm saying, as a joyful person all the time. You're right. great to be around. Um, but to tie that in what I was saying is that do you find yourself, like, using your faith or religion to as a practice or anything like that? You know, does that play a major part or not really? I mean... It does, but I don't know his. To it does, but I don't. I don't. Uh, I don't know it's being used. If that makes sense, like, nah, like break that down to me. No, I'm saying like, like my upbringing, right? And and uh, you know the knowledge I've you know I've gained for his faith and uh, uh, of course my religion, uh, uh, Christianity or whatever. Um, you know that all plays a part in it, but like me. My personality, for as I'm very, very, like, easygoing. Like, so when things uh, uh, go south, uh, go south for me, depending on what it is. My my like, if again, I figure out is this fully going to affect me? Does it need that much energy? You know what I'm saying? Right. And to where, I, to some people, to some people, and they know who they are. <laughs> They, I, I make it seem like I don't care yeah. about anything, and they even said like, you don't, you don't, you don't care about nothing. You care this attitude like you don't care. No, it's not. I don't care. It's just like I don't care to give it enough energy. Right. You know what I'm saying? And so, how you know when I do get hit with obstacles because we all do. We're human. Right. Uh, I just figure out the next plan because it's no need to get mad. You know what I'm saying? Upset. It's 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 okay because that's an emotion. That's a a reaction to you know whatever that situation may may bring. Or I mean, whatever that situation is, you know, an emotion is going to come out. Um, then, like I said, I figure, all right, I have to. L- I'm really tripping, and we're live again. Yeah, it's fun, man. See, I mean, it was about to. They heard everything you said. It, it really, was, it really went out at the, like at the end of your sentence there. So it, yeah. it was about to get real up in there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's nah, fine. we'll, we'll get right back to it. Let me, let me just uh, share this real quick, guys. For, if you are listening. For, for me, I hey, don't. Go ahead. Did, hold on. Did you did you did you hit the button for Gabe? No, I, I got them all mental noted. Okay. Cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Um, for me, I never listen to music to feel better. I listen to music to feel worse. <laughs> I, I, if I'm feeling, and, and, and see, and but see, it's an emotion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So whatever you feeling, happy, yeah, sad, yeah. mad, okay, mm-hmm. it's a song got there. To yeah, let, yeah, to yeah. match it. And once you like, mm-hmm. okay, like for instance, it was a it was a point in my life where well, like a few few years ago where mm-hmm. it seemed like for as financially I couldn't do nothing. Yeah. I had lost a vehicle, you know, repoed. My job was not looking the best. Mm-hmm. Um I was bad with money. I was getting kicked out of school cuz I couldn't pay for college. Right. I remember that. And you know, that shit brought a tear to my eye because especially the college thing cuz it happened. I was like, "All right. All this is gone. I got college." You know what I'm saying? Mhm. My dumb ass, <laughs> when I uh, applied, I didn't put for uh, later payments or break, you know, break the tuition down in payments. So they yeah. was expecting everything like boom right then and there. So I was like, ah, oh, fuck. So they told me I couldn't continue the class, and I was like, can I just pay y'all in two days? I get paid. It was only for two classes, right, and I right. had it. But anyway, long story short. So at that time period, I never forget. So why 2014 Forest Hill Drive is. One of my favorite albums, cause, yeah. Um, uh, the track, uh, what's the track? <laughs> How's it go? Apparently, no, no, no. Your, I mean, uh, love yours. Yeah, yeah. Love yours was yeah. like the, you know what I'm saying? Because I, I, I went through that state of mind because I was like, man, you start, you start seeing everything, seeing everybody. I'm seeing classmates of mine. They having families, you know, yeah, yeah. houses, and and I'm like. They was in the same class as me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Some of them went to school. Some of them didn't. So I start doing what everybody in this world we do a lot of. Right. Comparing your life. You know, yeah, like. Yeah, yeah. Having a competition and, and you got in your own w- head. Within yourself. Yeah, with your own Within self. yourself. And that's what I had to. That's, stop doing. That's what I had to stop doing. Mm-hmm. And understand everyone walks a life is different. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? You want to be a doctor. I want to be a doctor. Your road to being a doctor is going to be different from mine. You know what I'm saying? Because maybe in your road, you're going to drift off, something's going to happen. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I may go straight there. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? And one thing I had to learn as well that kind of went through you know, my upbringing in religion is that no matter what you do in life, you're going to have an obstacle. Right. Whether it's at the beginning, the middle, or, <laughs> or at the end. Right, right. Something's going to happen. Mm-hmm. Like, look at Donald Trump. This man was... He was grandfathered into a million dollars. His dad gave him a million dollars. And this man got, like, how many bankruptcies? You know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, I'm just saying, like, you know, so success is going to come if you put the work in towards it, no matter what it is. My dad told me not to plant my crops in the winter. (laughs) For real? Yeah. (laughs) I just gave him the fucking, uh, (laughs) I gave him that question mark. Look, who's homeboy that does it? Um, that, That meme. I Homeboy, a uh, basketball player that does a Nick Young. Oh, uh, yeah, Nick yeah, Young. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I gave him the swaggy P one time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't plant your crops in the winter. Like, all right, Dad. Yeah, yeah. All right, I'm out. Like, oh, I mean, that would, but that makes sense though. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it was worthwhile advice if I, if I wanted to get into agriculture. Beautiful man. Yeah, yeah. You any, told, any thoughts of doing that? that? Uh, no, I was like six, and I, yeah. I think I wanted to be like a fireman or a wrestler. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> yeah, I no, think we all wanted to do that, especially if you're a '90s baby. Yeah, like, yeah, the, yeah, the wrestler yeah. part. <laughs> yeah. So, who, who's your favorite wrestler? Ah, oh, shit. Come on, man. It's like Kobe and Jordan, like like uh, Stone Cold and uh, the, the Rock. Rock, bro. Like you're not beating that, man. That's <laughs> well, my opinion. I, that's my favorite time. And on top of that, like even though I was lied to my whole childhood, thinking Undertaker and Kane were brothers, like for real. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I thought that too, man. I, <laughs> I thought, didn't know I that thought, shit was a story mode. I thought I Paul like Bear was their real dad. My cousin, t- <laughs> my cousin told me that, and I was like, oh man, that kind of that shit hurt my feelings. Breaks a lot of things that <laughs> I had. Yeah, and I was like, what about the Hardy Boys? Oh, they're brothers. Okay, okay. So there are some brothers in the WWE. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> Wait, who? The, the Hardy Boys? The Hardy Boys. boys. Jeff and... Uh, Jeff so and so I take it the Dud- the Dudley Boys aren't real brothers? No. Oh, Shut okay. up. No. <laughs> 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 uh, my bad, man. <laughs> we kind of went... Uh, okay, my bad. Continue on what we were talking about. I mean, but yeah, bro. Like, I, yeah. what was that? <laughs> Oh, I don't know how we got to wrestlers. He, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. The roads are different. <laughs> well, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. and so... Yeah, roads are different in life, and you. 
This motherfucker right here. That's funny. I'm Get sorry. the table. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> I love nah, it, man. But yeah, man, it's, it's just, that's the beauty of these that. combos, though, man. When, yeah, yeah, man. That's the beauty of these good. combos is that this like, is just showing that we are human, bro. Yeah, like we 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 like to laugh. Everybody who knows me know that's one of my biggest thing. I love to laugh and giggle and joke and shit as well as he does too. So yeah. But when it's time to have those moments, like we're having a day, I mean, you know, it is what it is. Some of y'all need this shit anyway. Mm-hmm. I mean, and it's it feels good to hear from some people. You know, y'all viewers, y'all don't know us personally. Not all of us. I mean, not all of y'all anyway, but so it's good to see it coming from a different, you know, different person. You're not alone out here. You're not yeah. alone out here. We're all, like, we're we all, all human. We all yeah, human. Yeah. Now, next podcast, we may be lit like a motherfucker. I'm drinking water, literally. Yeah. So We're all drinking water. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're all drinking water. All water. Yeah. Yeah, man. Soda water for y'all too over here. Yeah, you know? yeah. And that's, Soda water. And that's and that's the beauty of it, man. Like with 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 what he said, like it, it's it's cliche that you hear that you know we're all in this together. We all we all you know what I'm saying whatever. High but, school musical style. But like <laughs> you know this same conversation I'm having with one of my best friends here. I've I've had with like homeless people. I've had right. with numerous people because I'm just uh, on our way up here. I was giving Carlos an interview. You know what I'm saying and whatnot. You know just because I'm just curious on things. And and whatnot, and one of the things I was curious about today was uh, how do you get through your demons? Carlos Marcus, a uh, fed. That's what I, was, <laughs> I, was, I, was, I was already out of wire. He's like, uh, he's like, I'm so, the so fed. Where, where'd you get your start? And where'd you get your weed, boy? I was like, damn. <laughs> I'm a big fresh as hell. <laughs> Yo, the first thing Lowe said when he got in the car, he's like, I am fucking high. <laughs> <laughs> and the first thing, and, and I just start asking him questions. I know that made him feel weird. Like, What's hey, little, man, where the, you from? The, the, the where'd, you, first, where'd you go to high school? Yeah, the first couple were pretty innocent. He was like, where'd you go to high school? Uh, you know, <laughs> did, you, did you know so-and-so? And so and so? So I was like, him, nah, bro. man, I didn't know them. I would have been like, what the fuck? Yeah, like, yeah, if you yeah. don't drive? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, bro, I'm trying not to die out here, bro. You're going to be I, looking at me. I'd make an interesting Uber. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. I'd make yeah. a creepy Uber. <laughs> a non-sexual creepy Uber. I'd make a dialogue creepy. He's that driver in Superbad. You guys got a MySpace? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love that fucking guy, Joe Triglio. I think it's the guy that plays the part. He's so, he's so funny and everything. That's his he real does. name, <laughs> Joe Triglio. Oh yeah, yeah, god, yeah. that's funny. He's a funny oh, guy and everything. He's got a MySpace. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take you somewhere we can get some alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, got, got boots. <laughs> Yeah, God. Gets beat up <laughs> as soon as they get there. He like, does. Yeah, he does yeah, get beat yeah, up. Yeah. Who's gonna give it to her? You. you. That too. <laughs> Yo, go home and watch Super Bad now. <laughs> the movie's fucking funny. Hey, if you have the DVD, make sure you watch the extended cut. That hoe is so oh, yeah. fucking funny. Right, right, right. Uh, yeah, man. Fucking um. <laughs> yeah, man. That 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 shit was super funny. Like I remember, like I remember hearing about Super Bad. I remember it being like the hype and the talk, like around school and shit. And uh, and uh, what you call it? And I literally saw it. Whenever I saw it, it was like the funniest thing ever. And ever since then, I've been hooked on to that whole crew of people. From, yeah, they funny no, as fuck. I'm lying. I'm lying. The, um, huh? Uh, yeah. The That whole crew of people, it actually started, um, I believe, uh, 40 Old Virgin is when I first mm-hmm. seen Seth Rogen. Yeah. And then from there... I guess that's when I started, like you know, following that whole crew of people. They fun and then, as fuck. yeah, and they all uh, to me, like you know, that's where we got to give credit to like Adam Sandler because Adam Sandler do, has done everything with his crew. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, and, and it's super cool how like from from day one, Seth Rogen, James Franco, and, and whatnot, and uh, who who's a uh, used to be fat boy and now slim. What's his name? Jonah Hill. Jonah, Jonah Hill. Hill. Yeah. yeah, like they all roll so, together. Judd Apatow used to have a TV show called Undeclared, and then also Freaks and Geeks. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Oh yeah. wow, that's day one. And uh, Seth Rogen and James Franco and uh, Jason Segel and a bunch of people were in Undeclared. Yeah. And Judd Apatow got his start with Saturday Night Live and stuff like that, and he was really good friends with Ben Stiller and Adam Sandler. Right. Yeah. And like I've seen like them do prank calls and stuff like that. That's, that's pretty funny. But the, it's funny that you mentioned Adam Sandler because he is part of like the original Adam Sandler crew back in the day. Like he was a good Judd. Yeah, Judd Apatow. He's a oh, really wow. good writer, and and yeah, he was part of that crew. And then from there, it spawned off. You know, yeah, I remember Holy Adam shit. Sandler on a couple of the episodes of Fucking the Cosby Fam- Show, Family actually. Tree, dog. He oh yeah, some sure. of the, some Wait, of the Adam Sandler was yeah, yeah. He, he played was Theo on the Cosby yeah, show. He played uh, Cosby. The- <laughs> 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 Cosby. Can't talk today. <laughs> My bad, Kevin man. Hart was also an undeclared. 
he was a Christian like like student, but like he loved the bitches. <laughs> <laughs> so like you know they call you know he's always preaching, but then you catch him at a party yeah. like. You're trying to talk to these women. <laughs> that shit was funny. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. Yo, y'all remember um preaching uh, abstinence and whatnot. <laughs> I, I say y'all remember, but it was only like a few years ago. That end of the world movie. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Where yeah. they did like oh. wiped out every celebrity in the first five minutes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Man, that's probably it might be my favorite Rogan and Franco. No, I'm lying. My my favorite uh, Rogan Express, Express uh-huh. bro. Not even. Oh, uh, fucking! It's not even. Uh, it's kind of uh, funny, but the not interview? even. Or I'm huh? trying to think. Of, how many movies? The interview? Nah. Uh, is the recent one, man. It's super motivating to me. The one where they. Uh, oh, the room. Yeah, or not they, the room, uh, but uh, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah where yeah. they based it on the making of the room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love that movie, not just because like uh, the story and whatnot, but like it's super motivational to me. Like I look up to people like that guy yeah, that they yeah. base it on. I look up to people like him, Lil B, everybody that quote unquote has like a mystique mystique, but also like it's, you know, people call their art bad or trash, right, but right, right. you know what I'm saying? Or whatever, but they're still out here thriving mm-hmm. to me. Little B, he don't make trash, but some people have called it trash, but it, it falls in line with people like that, right? Right. You know what I'm saying? Tommy so, Wiseau is one of those guys too. Yeah. Like, but he's smart because he he gets it. He does get that there is like this weird mystique, and he does get like not everyone likes it, but they like it because it's weird. The man sells underwear with his name. <laughs> like he sells yeah. everything. Like he's he's like his own entrepreneur. You know, he uses his name and just puts it on stuff. He's like Donald Trump, but a little more successful. <laughs> yeah, you know? he is. He's 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 amazing, man. I fuck with I fuck with all that. Like that shit motivates me to like to to always. Even if it's a, uh, you know, if, if it, you know, just just motivates me just to like get out there and get it, no matter what people think of my ideas or whatever. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Super motivating. That's why I fuck with Lil B. I know you don't fuck with Lil B. He hates when I play Lil B. Man, right. I, I was one of the the first people to to hate him. I was like, this ain't even gonna catch on. You know, it's it's this ain't the pack. You know, this ain't gonna catch on. And then like I heard a song that I liked, and I was like, okay. And I heard another song I liked. I was like, okay, my man actually got some. I'm just hating. I gotta get out my exactly. Get a, man. Gotta get out my element. And, and when you when you dive into Lil B as a person, and this actually ties into like our conversation, it, it all ties into yeah, super yeah. cool. But like Lil B as a person yeah. is someone I strive to be like. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And, and what I mean by that, I want to be Mark. But there are people on this earth that are super motivated. And when you get a chance, if uh, if you can get past the music, whether you like it or not. <laughs> You know, in the you fact that he, look, he is a little creepy, like yeah. on women, on, on, on oh girl. yeah, the feet pictures. Not not even shit? that, but like he he'll like unsolicited like hit girls up and be like, you know, if you send me like these amount of pics, I'll you know I'll send you, you know, twenty bucks or whatever the fuck. <laughs> Some of those girls are not of age, you know, and it's kind of weird. Oh shit, I didn't yeah, know yeah, that. yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, it is very weird. Oh, so ask damn. yourself, do you want to be him? Oh man, I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, didn't know I mean, that. he's also okay. done it. Like he's done it. So, so like. I saw like like this like thread go viral of like you know these young girls talking about it, yeah. and then like older women also like co opting it because it's happened to them. Like some people with check marks, and comedians like yeah, some random guy with a check mark you know hit me up, asked me to write his name on my body, and he sent me money. Like <laughs> I have the like they all have like Yo. the same screenshots and shit. Trash. That's wild, man. Right, moving on. <laughs> I, I, wow, I did not know that about Lil B. Yeah, I didn't know that about the bass guy. That wow, that threw me for left field. Bass guy. <laughs> Wait, I, I, I really love, love how this conversation bitches. has went. <laughs> I love. I ain't gonna yeah, lie. I, I like Lil B though. This might be my favorite podcast right now. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. I like. I like where this has went. Um, yeah, man. So, so in the, <laughs> so uh, before we had our technical difficulties, we were talking about some shit about demons and whatnot. Um, uh, but yeah, the reason why I was asking you that, of course, I'm asking for my own reasons. Um, I've been told to actually seek therapy. Has anybody in the room been to therapy before? Um, n- and I'm talking no, about not, not physical not, therapy. I'm talking about like uh, ghetto therapy. <laughs> Why not? Have, I mean, have, some, then, have something to drink and then, you know, just. Yeah, right. <laughs> bro. You know, right, right. let it go. That type of therapy. Sometimes, I mean, sometimes then, it works, sometimes it don't. And then my sister actually is a licensed therapist and counselor. So For I real? Mean, I mean, and even though it's not really. Uh, uh, She's not supposed to talk to family, <laughs> like not on that level. Yeah. But sometimes I go to her like with quick questions, and so it be that. I mean, I love my sister, so she she helped me. Yeah, you met her, you know yeah, how yeah. dope she is, man. So she, yeah, don't don't say her name because I don't yeah. want her to get in trouble. Of course. Of but course. uh, but I'm I'm gonna need that info sometime. Hopefully, my insurance will cover her. Shit. <laughs> and she does take insurance. So. Yeah. <laughs> Misty said that just threw you off, Mark. LOL. Next <laughs> yeah. subject. Yeah. Yeah, man. Hey, man. 
yeah, uh, Lil B. I, I gotta look more into that before I even speak now. Like, <laughs> right, yeah, I gotta yeah. look at more into Lil B. Before uh, okay, I so remember earlier I will. when I said that's someone I wanted <laughs> I to be like. Yeah. <laughs> that's now under review. Yeah, under yeah, review. Yeah, yeah, Flag yeah. on the play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Next week we'll figure it out. We'll get back to yeah. you. <laughs> yeah, man. So, 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 um, so I'm gonna keep it 100, man. I've been recommended therapy more than once. A matter of fact, probably like the past past year or so. You know what I'm saying? And um, that brings me to ask. You know what I'm saying? Like I know you said ghetto therapy, and little of both, little of both. Um, you know what do y'all think about that? That you know what I'm saying about getting therapy? And I mean like you know not physical therapy. I mean like actually like conversating with someone. It that, works, even it though works. it's a stranger. I mean, even though it's a stranger. I mean, that's what. I mean, I, mean I, know, I know I know your sister, but yeah, yeah, just yeah. in general therapy. I would imagine it works. Yeah. I mean I mean that's what is I mean that's what it's here for. Mm-hmm. I mean in order to release anything you may feel, you, you have to put it out where this again, that's what we say where music it, comes from. And that's then, that's people's therapy. In life, I feel like it, it might be easier to talk to someone that you don't know just because sometimes even if it's someone you Judgmental. can trust. Yeah. Not even that they're judging you, but like if you can tell, if you have to tell them something, but what you have to tell them could also affect how they look at you or how they look, exactly. at, or how it makes them look at whoever or right. whatever right. you right. know is going right. on. It's like okay, well, I thought I knew a guy, and now I know like the other side of the coin, you know, and, and vice versa. So I can see how like talking to someone you don't know exactly. and someone that has no stake in like how you turn out because the check cleared, you know, yeah. I can see how how that can be helpful. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and then you got to be careful who you. Uh, mm-hmm. to because a lot of people soak in your your information so they can use it against you mm-hmm. yeah you know what i'm saying some people so, don't want you to feel better they're just curious yeah just curious yeah. a lot yeah, of yeah. nosy motherfuckers out there facts <laughs> so so there is benefits to talking to someone you don't know yeah, like, i would assume so oh okay yeah because I, I ain't gonna lie i thought to myself like okay do i really want to talk to someone that probably doesn't even love me off the bat just yet I mean, or knows but, me to love me enough you know like what if i'm just like a really piece of shit person and like you don't know Tupac personally, and you, <laughs> you fair enough. You know, and you so it's 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 that bridge. You know what I'm saying? It's some it's something out there somebody can relate to. Yeah, and you know they may bring that therapist or that counselor may bring up a a, a point in their life which they do all the time. Um, you it know, takes a crazy to, person to know a crazy to try person. To, to, to relate. <laughs> you know to relate. Saying? Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And um, and then who's who's to know? Again, like I say, these therapists, these people you talk to, they they go through things themselves, and they uh, uh, want to talk about it now. Yeah, you know that's why you got marriage counselors. Mm-hmm. You got. You know, you know, specific. Now, I don't know if I believe in marriage counseling. <laughs> yeah. I don't I mean, know about all that. I just don't. I That's asked. a whole nother topic, man. Yeah, yeah. I, but I ain't married either. Yeah. You're, you're going to chime in, Los? Oh, I was going to just hit you with some breaking news that Ashanti accepts Keisha Cole's versus battle and challenge. Oh, that's it's it. trash. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, Ashanti, I mean, it's I trash. love Can Keisha, she use J-Lo songs too or no? They can use all features, but I'm just saying, like, Shanti wrote them joints. Like, them I think, oh, we didn't even cover that. Brandy and Monica. I mean, that was dope versus they did. I actually they watched it before we got here. Oh, yeah, I watched it yesterday. Almost cried because the songs hit. I almost cried. I did, like, them hoes how, hit. How beautiful Monica is. Oh, my God. Oh, I, man. And I mean, Brandy's not ugly either, but just saying, I was like, I saw, I saw a great meme. This is like, Y'all know who who won this hell. You know, Monica's always been down. Brandy's the one that had to tell y'all she wants to be down. Like. <laughs> <laughs> I, and you know, we were I was at my cousin's house watching it and we was our of course we was like Monica got the, you know, the more notable huge hits. Right. But we talking about life. Mm-hmm. Brandy beats her because Brandy didn't done so much. You know what I'm saying? And bro, I, I literally got a reality check listening to to Brandy's uh, tracks um, and Monica's as well. Have but, you heard uh, of her new song? I heard, well, I, I heard bits and pieces of her album. Uh, she playing, got it was well, playing in got, my living room. She and, got one of her new songs. She played it like on a little intermission with a uh, little baby, bro. Little baby is on. Oh, fire. Monica, Monica, yeah, yes, that yes, bitch yes. Is fire, yeah, I heard bro. that one. Yeah, that, that beat anyway. The production. Yeah. So yeah, man. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, I, I ain't gonna lie, like when they were going through the uh, Brandy's track list of yeah. songs and shit that she played for the battle, I was thinking to myself, like, man, like, like I thought Have You Ever was my favorite song, but yo, she I ain't gonna has, lie, like, some bangers. I'm once, not just gonna once I revisited those songs yeah, during the yeah. battle and I heard Missing You, I was, man, I was yeah, like, oh, we, uh, hold up, man. And I'm yeah. missing you. Yeah, that Set It Off to... soundtrack, 
Man, yeah, hey, we look. we had to we had to cut it off on that one because yeah, yeah it's that, deep that song there, man. Yeah, it's deep. Um, you know what I'm saying? And then just to uh, revisit other tracks, like I said, like you know, it, that's the cool thing about these versus battles, man, is that um, you know it, it it lets you know like who's who's who, like who's the yeah. real goats of this shit, who's here for the time being, who's here for the times that be. You know what I'm saying? Not necessarily just the time being. And that's the beauty of this versus battle. You know what I'm saying? Um, and then to see them close it out with the infamous, uh, you know what I'm saying, uh, uh, the boy, the boy's yeah. mind, like, that was beautiful to see, to see uh, Monica perform Angel of Mine, you know. And to me, like, I ain't going to lie, these, these tracks, especially the R&B battles, they really make me remember and reflect on a time and and uh real quick before we close out the podcast i just want to chime in on something i'm practicing right now uh to handle my demons is reflection what's up you got a comment and i think it's pretty controversial talk to me luis segura says and i quote man ain't nobody trying to listen to no brandy or monica <laughs> we are <laughs> Yo, <laughs> yo, man, that, well, I guess certain, tr- but here's the thing though, man, you know what I'm saying? Here's the thing about, um, you know what I'm saying? My boy Grim, and he goes by Grim, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I don't picture him jamming that. Yeah. I picture Grimm. him jamming the Zero remix version of that. Z- you know how Zero remakes songs? I picture him jamming the Zero Have You Ever remix. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he ain't gonna He's, that's not him. He just now said they need a versus with Mark the Protege versus Young Scat. Yo, man, Ooh. that can go down. That's, that's, okay, so that's that's actually my original. Can I be Young my Scat? My first when I first started rapping, that was yeah, my yeah. first shit. Can young I be? Scat? Can I be so Young it's Scat? Versus, so it's me versus me. But yeah, yeah. I uh, I actually I want to be Young Scat. Hey, man, we could do that, man. I got I got. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, I got Mark the Protege winning that one. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> I'm for the I'm for the kill this young scat. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yo, man. I ain't gonna lie, man. I talked down on my first mixtape records, but on the cool, uh, when I revisit them, I think I just remember the feeling I had whenever we were like making that bitch, because yeah. you were around with me. Right. You know what I'm saying? And like that was like the funnest times. You know what I'm saying? So that'd be a cool young that'd be scat. that in the hey, <laughs> hey, Lou, uh Grill. You a small town yo, girl. <laughs> yo, Yo, that song never even got released. <laughs> Yo, Grim, I ain't gonna lie, that actually ties in to the fucking uh to to the reflection part of what I was just about to talk about. Like my first step in, in this practice is reflecting on when times were a little bit more peaceful and times were like less anxiety filled, less demon filled, less whatever. And when I was making that tape, I'm actually gonna revisit it now. I Everyone's was... dropping laugh emojis. <laughs> Cause they know what's up. They know what it is. Hey man, y'all remember me back in the day? Well, I say back in the day, but that wasn't that far. But y'all, y'all remember when I first came out, man? You know what I'm saying? But anyways, um, never would have changed me. <laughs> but she, you yeah. know how the game be <laughs> for real. Shout out K Dog. <laughs> oh, <Boy>, yeah. <laughs> that boy served me on my own, own mixtape, dog. Hey, that's when I knew I had, to, I had to. Yo, let me go do my homework real quick. I ain't ready just you yet. You got outshined on a feature? Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, man he's yeah. the Shout out You got Jay Elect? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. He was the Jay Z to my uh, yeah. Jay Electronica. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, man, that was a fun time and and definitely a time I want to reflect on. Like yesterday, like I literally went to like like I, I I searched up clips of like 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 Mario Party three that I used to play on N sixty four and shit and yeah. like old Crash Bandicoot games and like Spyro and shit because those were times where like life was like there was no stress, no anxiety, yeah, you were no six. nothing. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> but I I want I I feel a certain peace. You know what I'm saying? There. Yeah, yeah. And 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 one thing a person told me right now is that they told me, they said, you need to find out where this shit started when you first started like tripping and shit. And when you first like, you know what I'm saying? Where where did this come? So like I'm trying to revisit all the way back to when I was a kid of my my very vivid memories. Again, figuring out yeah. where it started, what I said. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Figure out. Yeah. And I'm glad we're having this conversation, man, because I'm be honest, bro. Like, I never got this advice growing up. I never got this. I never got this. I'm I'm dealing with it right now. It's all good. Bro. You know what I'm saying? So that's the beauty of this. Um, before we end this podcast, I just want to say I appreciate you gentlemen for 
This I really needed this. I, was I, good one, I needed good this, one. man. I really I did. I really fucking needed this. So thank you very much. Thank you for being good friends. Thank you for your existence and and y'all have contributed. You know what I'm saying to this earth. You know yeah, what I'm saying by definitely. helping another individual today, and that is me. You know what I'm saying. Yeah. So I appreciate and, and, y'all. And though this helped him, hopefully you viewers, if you're going through anything, remember one, you're not in it alone. Uh, figure out. Uh, what can bring you peace? Um, stick with it. Mm-hmm. Love yourself. Nobody and, will. And and <laughs> yeah, bar. And, and 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 continue just to enjoy life. I know it looks ugly, especially with everything going oh, on. Oh man, <laughs> everything going on. Bad news. We losing people we look up to as uh, not only celebrities, but um, uh, you know all type of things. So yeah, just. Just find uh, 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 something, you know, like, again, hopefully it brings positive energy to yourself and the people around you. But, uh, yeah, man, just do those things and just continue to keep on trucking. You know, you got to keep on trucking. Got to keep on trucking. Like, yes. like the great Eddie Kendrick <laughs> don't ever say. Okay, Eddie Kendrick sounded cool. Eddie. You sound like, don't ever say <laughs> that again. <laughs> that, <laughs> got to keep on trucking. Keep on That's trucking, a, bud. Keep on trucking, man. That's yeah, an actual man. song, bro. Don't disrespect me. No, um, it came good from him. Okay. Eddie Kendrick. That he sounded said, weird keep too. It trucking. I got, I, I got like a random piece of good news to go out on. What's well, not that, good bro? news, but positive. Shit, we What's on your that? time now, so go ahead. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that is true. We just flipped the hour. Yeah, go um, ahead, go ahead, bro. Go ahead, go ahead. Jabroni <laughs> has been added to the dictionary. For real? Yeah, when was this? Yeah, today. <laughs> Beautiful. We have good news on the podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jabroni has been added to the dictionary. It's not the Urban Dictionary, right? No, sir. It's the actual dictionary. Yo, we need to get that encyclopedia, though. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then we're going to get you. the Bible, too. Oh, shit. Telling you. We're going to Vermont. Oh, you we're going to. Oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> and on that note, the OT. <laughs> yo, man. Yo, it's your boy, Mark the Protege. OCD, man. Yo, this has been another episode of the Overthinkers Podcast. The OT. And now y'all know, just off this episode, why it's called the Overthinkers Podcast. <laughs> Hashtag the OT where we got to ask yourself, did we think too much about it or not not enough enough about it? it. We are leaving on a good note. I fucking love my friends. I love this whole fucking (laughs) earth and this universe and how it fucking works. Even the jabronis. I love y'all. And the fucking jabronis. Let's get it, man. Have a good night, you jabronis. Have a great one. Yeah. One.